Yeah, Sandy's tall and he's handsome and he's great. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be getting along with him? You, you know what? It's it's you know you get this strong authoritative figure with personality that comes in who happens to be your boss. You're gonna watch Dan struggle a little bit to um, you know get his approval and acceptance of of the fact that Dan believes that he's a really great cop, um, but his lieutenant may think otherwise. So you get that sort of you know yet another. Another guy who thinks Dan's a douche. And it's I mean, I didn't want to say it, but... <laughs> but here you go. No, he's, he's redeemed himself a lot in the last season. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Not to me. No? no? Can we expect more of you and Lucifer, Dan and Lucifer, bonding moments and betting and stuff? And uh, you know, <clears throat> because uh, Tom Welling's character catches the eye of, of, of Chloe. Um, I think I think there might be a little special bonding between the two there. You know, it's like she doesn't like either one of us. <laughs> Great. So they're 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 bro ops have been a lot of fun. Yeah. I really yeah. enjoyed that too. I mean and a lot of fun to play. Mm -hmm. A lot of fun to do. Um, I'm sure there's gonna be more of that, yeah. you know. Um, and I'm, I'm actually 100% positive because when you see us at the beginning of episode, uh, the first episode of season three, that it's, we're right back where we left off. So Dan have a new love interest? Um, you know what? I think I think what's going to happen is Dan is Dan is so confused as to why Charlotte doesn't remember the relationship that they, you know, that they had. Um, that it's also kind of intriguing to both of them that they might explore explore together whether or not they could have a relationship as Charlotte Richards, as the real Charlotte Richards. Is she married? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think so. But then, you know, Dan's a douche. <laughs> I'm, I'm rethinking my whole statement from earlier. So. Yeah. Now, what else is Dan, do Dan doing this season? Like, what else are you, your character? Um, what are we looking for? You know, I think more of more of the same, really, of, of mm -hmm. uh, making choices that, that, that aren't the best. You know, they're not, they're not for the right reasons, but it's not the best choice. <laughs> <laughs> Do you no. think he's going to get let in on the secret? Yes. Eventually, I don't, know if that, I don't know if that would happen so soon. I mean, where would it go from there? Dan yeah, just, I don't know, it would rock his world, I think, because he's such a straight laced dude, right? Yeah. So, I don't know, that's a good question. Well, he has a detective, he should be. I know, how does Chloe not know? <laughs> we, we write that in all caps, so at least three times per season. How does she not know this? Not, she's a good detective. No. Well, then she's obviously not that good of a detective. She's in denial. <laughs> she's in denial, actually. We get more kind of. I don't really know much about Dan. Yeah. Are they flushing him out? Will we learn a little bit more about some background? Oh, yeah. History? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know what's great is that um, we shot an additional four episodes last season. Um, it's standalone, and which is give you know because we're at the point in, in the show that we're shooting now, uh, it gives us the opportunity to sort of take a take a character and and, and explain their backstory, and um, you know so we get we get one with Maze, we get you know a little bit with Dan. So I, I think in the future, yes, you will see you will, you will start to understand why we all tick. Did anything about that backstory surprise you? Um, no. So, how are Yes. <laughs> Do you ever give them ideas on your character? Like, you know, I think this can make him more douchey. We can yeah. Do this. Yeah, and they always say no. <laughs> so, I just, I just keep my mouth shut. <laughs> what socks are you wearing today? I'm very extremely boring today. They're just, they're just tan, straight socks. I know, I know. I actually, a friend of mine, a friend of ours, um, put some clothes together for me, so I have to listen to him. <laughs>
There's no crazy stuff. And he's boring. Oh. So. All right. We have some notes. We have some Thank notes you. Any chance you're going to direct an episode? There is absolutely a chance, a uh, very strong chance. I actually just finished the Warner Brothers director's program in preparation to direct my own episode. That's awesome. Yeah. So, um, uh, I'm not sure if we know exactly which episode, but it would definitely be this season. So, yeah. How's the move to LA change the show? Uh, you know what? It's 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 like it's a brand new show. You know, I've loved every everything that we created in Vancouver is what what you see, right? Um, but it got to a point where it was difficult to we started hiding elements. We needed Los Angeles, and so now we don't have to do that. We don't have to hide those any more elements. We can use it, and and it feels like just a totally new energy, you know. Um, and hopefully, we can maintain the greatness that I think that we created over in Vancouver as, as, as out here as well, and continue to get stronger. So.